Hey guys, Lee Taff here with another speed tip from my garage. Can't wait to share this tip with you because it's so simple, but man, is it effective. It's probably a drill I do at least once a week with each athlete um, or, or similar drills like it, but I love using the band. We've been talking a lot about the use of the band and the reactive nature that it incurs, okay? So basically the drill that we're going to do, if I were not using the band, the drill is very similar, but there's a different feel for the athlete. So basically the drill we're looking at is the reactive component off the ground. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on the box and back off and back out as quick as I can. It looks real simple, but man, is it important because the more I can create stiffness and get off the ground really fast, the better I can be when I sprint, okay? Sprinting or if I react and push. So I want that stiffness, I don't want a lot of bend. This is not power, this is elastic energy. The one thing that I try to teach the athletes is get the toes off the ground, but let the balls of the feet touch. So you probably can't see it, but if I curl my toes up, the balls of the feet, okay, stay on the ground, and that puts a nice pre-stretch under my foot and then up even through my calf, right? My Achilles tendon and calf. So when I do this drill, okay, I'm popping and I'm staying on the balls of my feet, okay? I'm trying not to hit the toes, and I'm trying not to stay really high like this, I want my heels coming down, so when I hit, I have a really good pre-stretch. Now, when I add this band, I actually think it puts the athletes in a better position for what I'm looking for. Because keep in mind, when we're running, we're moving forward, okay? So this, this helps me have the feeling of moving forward. If the athlete gets out of position, they get taught really quick. Not by me, but by this band, so watch. If I jump up and I stay too vertical, when I jump off, it pulls me back. And then they can't get the next jump. So what we teach them through the use of the band is to lean into the box. So now when I jump and I hit, I have this really nice, lovely position, and I just pivot around my upper body. And the goal is obviously to be as quick as they can, up, 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 and get on and off as fast as they can. The next progression, we try to single leg load them. Even though both legs touch, only one's touching on the ground, the other one's touching on the box. So what we do is we stay tall, put this on, and I lean over the box again, and I pop. Now, if they get good, they can use their hands. If not, I put their hands right here. Just control their movement. So they're going to pop. So my back leg is loading very, very well, okay? And I'm not high. I'm trying not to stay high. Again, I'm down. So I want my heel actually sometimes tap the ground. That's okay. But the weight's on the ball of the foot. So this drill right here, if let's say you did two to four sets of 10 repetitions right after the warm-up, really good exercise. Now, if you want to train it more, you can go up to six sets if you want of about 10 repetitions. It's got to be quick now. I don't want you over five to seven seconds, probably closer to five seconds to get this drill done. If the athlete can't get it done in that amount of time, reduce the number. Make them do eight reps rather than ten, okay? But keep it down, keep it quick, keep it really fast. Really good drill to help athletes get that impulse off the ground and that reactive nature. So hey, we'll be back again with another sweet tip from my garage.